You know the meme? You know the, you know the meme with the dog looking in the mirror? And he's like, I still got to do a check, me checking to see if I still got that dog in me. Five rounds, March 9th. I respect this sport and I honor this sport. And I'm 35 years old now. You know, this guy's a young, hungry lion who's on a streak, you know, finishing. I think he finished five fights in a row. Um, and somebody gave me my shot, you know, to, to crack in. So I respect the game and, and, and that's what I'm doing. You know, let's let's see if I still let's March 9th buy the pay-per-view. And we'll see. We'll find out. Uh, you can have tough guys, but if they don't have the chin with me, they, it's not going to make it. And I do believe we both have a chin to, that uh, we can crack a couple of times. And um, if people want uh, a violent fight and uh, a fight uh, that could uh, be uh, lived in the history, I think it's a fight. Uh, I do believe we can have a, a, a fight that is going to be crazy. Crazy scramble, crazy punching exchanges. He fought in the French Special Forces, so you got to imagine some of the things that he's seen, right? When when you speak to Benoit Saint-Denis, there is a fire in his eyes. There is a special kind of intensity, okay? Because as I said, the French Special Forces, they're doing some nasty shit, okay? He's going to be coming into this one extremely confident, okay? And I knew he would get a big fight. After that performance against Matt Favola and what he's doing for the nation of France, it was only obvious. So, five rounds as well. Five rounds. Now, Dustin Poirier has got the advantage in going five rounds. Benoit, this will be his first time. He might have done it on the regional scene, but never in the UFC. Dustin Poirier has taken a moment to say, hey, I need to check my ego. I need to check everything that I've been working on my whole career. It says more about him as a fighter and as a competitor to take this fight. You know how many fighters would have told the UFC to go fly a kite? So you get some of these guys that are young and hungry and they stay that guy. Those are the ones that go on and have very long and meaningful careers. You have other guys that are young and hungry, they get to a little bit of a spot and they freeze and they panic and they don't ever want to risk it. They don't want to get off that biscuit. They don't want to do anything. They turn the gun on the promoter. They do whatever it takes. They price themselves out of the business. They make up injuries. They do all sorts of stuff. Dustin Poirier did not. And it's an old expression, but all that a diamond is, is a piece of coal that withstood the pressures of time. There's never been a day when I feel that Dustin Poirier's moniker of the diamond is more perfectly placed on the right guy. I went back and started watching fights with my coaches and stuff. And, and his debut, at, he, he came into the UFC, I think, short notice at 170 pounds and got hit with some huge shots and, and didn't really take a step backwards. He, he kept coming forward, kept staying in the fire. He has no quit in him. And those are the kind of fights that excite me, man. You know, I know it's not good for me, but those that's those are the kind of fights I want to be involved in, you know, and it, and it is what it is. He's got a huge he's got a huge momentum in Europe, right? Uh, apparently, he's like a really big star there. He finished five guys in a row. UFC likes him. He's getting traction. So let's I'll be the judge of that. You know, I'll be the judge if he's if he's ready. We've seen this happen before. Yeah, it's, it's no look. I don't blame him for where he's at right now. He wants to fight all the best guys. But I also look at St. Denis and I think to myself, he is tailor-made for how, how Dustin can fight. He's dangerous. He's fast. He's got good, good stand-up. He's got all those things. But to me, I look at Dustin and I go, look, he needs to figure out, look, I'm going to make them happy with an easy win over, not an easy win, but a, a tough fight. I'm going to make them happy. I'm going to squash their boy. I'm going to squash their chicken. Okay, and I'm going to send them back. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, he's gonna smash. He's gonna smash their boy, and they're trying to get this guy to come up, which I see why. This is a massive, massive fight for for Benoit Saint Denis. He has the opportunity here to defeat um, a, a massive name in the sport, uh, and from there, you know, probably one or two fights away from a title shot. Um, so I, I think that um, you know, striking, he's gonna have to be very careful on the feet against someone like. Uh, Poirier, you could argue he might be the more durable guy, though, uh, you know, considering uh, Poirier has been around the sport for a very long time. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, on the ground, I think he can certainly pose a lot of problems, you know, with his wrestling, with his positioning, with his ground and pound against someone like Dustin Poirier. So fascinating fight. Great matchmaking. Can't wait to see. It. It's a very similar situation for when I fought Fiziev, a young up and comer, yes. obviously full of full of confidence, full of hunger. Not sleeping in silk sheets yet. Um, Poirier is. I was. 
And these are guys that are dangerous. They're young, they're hungry, they're confident, they're, they got crazy skills. Fighting is a dangerous game and chance is a, chance is a factor. I kind of feel like these are the these are the types of fights where the wisdom and experience of someone like Dustin Poirier shines. Like I, I there's, there's a lot of reasons to be excited for Saint Denis, but it really surprised me that he opened up as the favourite. Like you've got to think that like, Poirier of old, the the Poirier that fought McGregor the first time was was very kind of very vulnerable in the first sort of 90 seconds of the fight like if if someone clipped him in those first 90 seconds generally they would hurt him but after he settled into that and a couple of minutes in and he starts to relax you start getting that little shoulder roll that he does that little shoulder roll and then he starts stepping into range square and throwing power punches he's got a beautiful close range style where he, he brings his arms and shoulders up to duck underneath punches and although it can look quite reckless what we've seen over the years is that he's very, very effective against some of the most dangerous guys around. Like, to be able to wear people down and beat them to the punch and still take some damage and, and be able to work through it and, and create a lot more damage and trauma on your opponent in those kind of fights, for me, it is, is a very, very valuable thing that Dustin Poirier brings into a fight against someone like Saint Denis. Saint Denis is on a five fight win streak with all five coming by finish before the third round. He's been saying that he believes he's the new BMF of the UFC and he'll have the opportunity to prove it against Dustin Poirier, who is an absolute savage and always goes to war. These two guys agreed to fight, but they both wanted a five round fight, so they got it. No, I told them, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll fight the guy, but let's do it five rounds. Because I feel like the better fighter, you know, unless something crazy happens early, the better fighter wins over five rounds. And just a long, even if he doesn't fatigue or even if it's not deep waters to him, he's the god of war. That's what he wants, you know. Uh, I feel like the rhythm, timing, you know, my experience, I pick up on that stuff the longer the fight goes. And, and I'll find openings and, and things like that. I just, I prefer it. He's going to show how he can dominate these lower level fighters. Okay. And I mean, I'm not, no disrespect to St. Denise. I don't, no disrespect, he's great on the feet, but we've, he's been proven when he's on his back or on his bottom, okay, he's not the same fighter. And I think Dustin's got good submissions, very good wrestling when he needs to mix it up. He is a big guy for the weight class, let's not forget that. Dustin walked around probably close to 195, maybe 200. He's a big guy. And so when you put him in there and he's got that, He's got all the intangibles to continue to be what he is. If he fights a smart fight, I think he dominates this fight. The fact that they have him as an underdog, damn, disrespect right there. On the side of Dustin Poirier, I feel like this is a dangerous but very winnable fight. Benoit Saint-Denis is fantastic in every area, and he tries to dissect his opponents and look to, for that weakness to try to exploit, but he's not a specialist in, in any one area. Dustin is a specialist in the boxing department. If he can keep this fight where he wants it and go into those later rounds, this is the five round affair, guys. This isn't a three rounder. This is where Dustin lives in those five round type of wars. That would be the path to victory for Dustin, getting it into the late deep waters and testing how much heart, how much dog is in the good fighter in Benoit saint -Denis. I kind of viewed it as far away. I knew of him because he beat a teammate of mine, Tiago Moises. That's the first time I saw him fight. I didn't know about him until then. And then uh, obviously I know who Matt Favola is. And I was there in Madison Square Garden watching it live. So I was like, wow. And then he called me out when he got, you know, and I was like in my head sitting there in a the chair, cage side, I was like, no way that's happening. You know, that this guy got some work to do. I think somebody even asked me backstage, what do I think about the call out? And I was like, God, this guy's got some work to do. You know, this is my 30th fight in the UFC, but here we are. If I'm Dustin Poirier, like I did when I was fighting, I take this very personal. I say, no, I'm not going to be your stepping stone. I'm not letting you make a name off of me. I'm still legit. I'm still the man. And you're going to have to go through me. And, and I think this is a critical point to find out, Dustin, does Dustin Poirier still have it? Even though Poirier is ranked number three, and I think Benoit is ranked number eight, I think this is going to be a close fight. Youth, less damage, less miles on the clock is all on the side of Benoit Saint-Denis. Experienced big fight feels going five rounds. That's all on the side of Dustin Poirier, okay? This is a tremendous fight.